Yo, welcome Flyfirst. So today we're going to take a look at the upgrading system that Flyf Universe has to offer. And I promise you, you won't need any other guide than this. You will get all the information here that you need. And you will get not only information on how to do it, you will also get information which upgrades are wise to do and which you maybe should put all the way to the end when you're really min-maxing your character. But before we are jumping right into the video, I noticed that 70% of my viewers are still not subscribed to the channel. So let's make a deal. You watch this video all the way to the end and I'm pretty sure I earned your subscription by then. So now let's start. So we are currently in Flares at the upgrade station and we will try to give a quick shout on all the upgrades that you're actually able to do at the moment in Flyf Universe. And before we start, you can find those upgrade stations in every city, so you don't have to do it in Flowers. Just look where the two guys are that are smashing the hammer onto the hot iron, and you will be set. Now, the first thing you can do, you can upgrade your sets or your weapons. Right now, we will only showcase um, on how to do it in-game. And then afterwards in the guide, we will actually take a look at what are the sets, the, um, what are the effects, what are the success rates, which upgrade is reasonable, why, on which upgrades you maybe should not spend too much cash and stuff like this. So we have an idea. First up, we will take a look on how to upgrade um, your weapon. And this is similar, like weapon and set is the, is the same. So we will not go over the set so you will go to the safe upgrade right here and then you can put in a, um, a power dice and then it will show you right here which kind of items you need and we already showed here we have to get those but you will see this right here and here you will see the success rate for the next upgrade at the moment this item is plus zero and we, if we get it to plus, um, what's it called? If we are getting it to plus three, then we will need to use protect. So basically at the moment, if we're putting in a protect right here and we are pressing start, you will see it will go through. And now our, um, our weapon is at plus three. And now if we upgrade farther and we would fail, the weapon would be destroyed. This is why we need the scroll of Sprotec right here. And it starts consuming the scroll after a plus four upgrade. So basically on the plus three to plus four upgrade, it starts consuming those scrolls. So you don't have to worry if you put out those in early. And now we can do one more since I, and we can see it, it failed. We are at 54%, but we have two more. So we can go ahead, do it again. And as you see, we just succeeded and it is plus four without breaking the item. Now, something else that we can do is we can add piercings into our suit, for example. So um, for this one, we need to go to this guy, go to safe piercing at the suit right here and for getting the piercings we don't need the power dice 4 that we needed for the upgrade we need the power dice 8 to put in for a piercing you always need a protection scroll there's um you can't pierce for free and the protection scrolls you need for this are the scroll of g protect right here and you will also see the success rate and this doesn't cost any materials this only costs a bunch of penny right here and it has a 20% chance. So maybe we are lucky or maybe we are not. Let's give it a try. Okay, and we failed. But the reason why you're doing those piercings, as you can see right here, it is a two out of two and you can get a total of four piercings and you can socket cards in there. For example, a lightning card 4% to increase your attack by 4%. 
Now, something else that you can upgrade is accessories. Doors are like rings, necklaces, earrings, something like this, for example. And for, to doing this, you will also go right here and go into the safe accessory upgrade. And then you can put in a ring, for example, and all up to plus three, you don't need the scroll of a protect again, like we just mentioned. And after plus three, you do need the scroll of a protect. Uh, I don't know why I put in the, this info ring. I actually wanted to show you something else. So we are going for a plus three, which means we would need the scroll of a protect, right? But since we didn't put the scroll of a protect, we cannot press start. This means the game is preventing us from trying to lose our item. So let's do one, um, one upgrade attempt because I didn't buy any more scrolls. Just so you can see it once for the video, we have a 45% chance to succeed right here. And if we are lucky or not, we are not. So we are not the luckiest people around here. So then there's one last upgrade that you can do on those NPCs. And this is the element upgrade right here. This means on a weapon or a suit, you are able to add an element. And if you go like this and you place an element card, it will show you exactly which items you need. But we will, and every element needs different items. There will be a cheat sheet in the guide, so you can basically make a screenshot or save it, and you always know when you want to do this element, you need to farm those kind of catchers and stuff like this. So now we're taking a look at the last option of upgrading that we have available in Flife Universe, but this is not based on an NPC. This is based on a scroll that you can buy in the cash shop and it is the scroll of weapon bonus. So basically our weapon that we have right here, it can have a bonus, but we currently don't have it. This means if, it, if you don't have a bonus on your weapon, you can use the scroll to generate one. And if you already have one that you don't like, you can override it. And important to know is you can get any bonus on your weapon um, that one of your skills is able to do. But my weapon is only level 45, so I can only get, um, get points here for skills that are below level 45. So example, like if I wanted to um, get like hit off Penier, my yo-yo needed to be at least level 75 to get this. So I will just show you one example, what the, this looks like. You double click the scroll, place it onto the item. It does take a while. And then you will see right here, we now have a bonus of snatch damage plus 5%. That is a bad one, but this was just to show crazy you how the scroll works. And there's also a scroll that is working for the shield, but it is pretty much exactly the same how to use it. So you should be all set. First thing we want to talk about is the accessory upgrading. Accessories are rings, earrings, and necklaces. Something that is important to know for um, people that are maybe coming from pre life, life, accessories do not stay at level one. So basically you can't wear a plus 10 accessory at level one. This is why I made this section here that is actually showcasing you if you're upgrading an accessory to a higher level, at which level, you, which level you need to be to wear it. This is really important so you don't um, accidentally upgrade a jewelry piece higher than your own level and then you can't wear it, you would be really mad. So make sure to always have this here set. Now, if you want to upgrade, you need a Power Dice 8. We already showcased this and here you can see the success changes and you can increase those changes in if you're Go going with a power dice 10 instead of a power dice 8. On the last spot here, you can see if you need an A protect, and we already said up to plus three A protects are not needed. And afterwards, A protects are needed. Otherwise, you can't use the safe upgrade or your piece will get destroyed. And accessory can go all the way up to plus 20. This means a plus 20 ring, for example, has 40 stats and a plus three clockworks ring that you cannot upgrade has only 30 stats. So if you want to invest into those kind of upgrades, 
make sure that you invest if you're looking at like something that is like 30 stats for example make sure that you invest um, less than actually buying like a 30 stat ring so always make sure that you get the best for your buck right here and uh, one note is that um, on earrings for example the demo plus 20 is almost twice as good as the mightier plus three so the mightier plus three is actually it's not a good item and don't try to overprice it early because many people will probably think it's really good so don't fall for this trap and the most important piece of accessory that you can drop in clockworks is definitely the speedo plus three since you cannot upgrade it it will give you 10 melee block and it is really strong so keep your eyes open for this one now let's take a look at the suit piercings we already told you how to do it here are the chances. Here you can see the insane penny cost that you can get. And now let's talk about the cards that you can actually put in. I showed you that you can put in a lightning card for 4% attack, but there's more to it. You can also add volcanoes for HP percent. You can add oceans for MP percent. This is especially really good if you're an ASOR BP, for example. Then you can, can add vacuum cards for 7% FP. Those used to be completely useless, but now we have skills at, on the night, for example, that are scaling on FP. So I recommend do not throw those away until we know if they are actually useful or not. And usually the earthquake card is like the little sister of the volcano card, if, because this is usually cheaper, gives you also a decent value in tankiness, but it's not as good as the volcano card. So basically this is something if you cannot afford a volcano 7%, you might want to start off with like an earthquake 4% or a 7% like this until you can afford the volcano cards. Now, we want to talk about upgrading. And if we are actually um, upgrading, we need a shit ton of materials. This means um, we have, need to farm different catchers, kill them and collect them. And I made you this little map so you can see exactly where you can find which catcher. And the, re the, the place that I put them is not like the actual place. It just means like that in Darkon 1 and 2, you can find the Guru catcher, for example. In all over Flares, you can find the Aaron's catcher. They are not only located right here, even though it looks kind of like this. Okay, so after flying around forever, for, forever, ever, we basically finally found one of those catchers. First thing um, is you do need to kill them. They have 100k HP. This means it does take a while. Um, I was considering forwarding this and speeding up this progress, but I decided to give it the full length. So you actually see how much effort it is um, to farm those materials. So before you can farm those materials, this is important that you are going to um, any city to a magic store and you're going to buy this item, the ultra collector. Do not collect without an, an ultra collector. It is not worth it. And as you can see, it takes forever to kill those mobs. And the ultra collector is only 5 million. You can farm those fairly easy, even in lower levels. And I advise you do not collect without the Ultra Collector. The Ultra Collector gives you 100 pieces for each catcher you are killing. And if you actually want to mine the catcher, you have to press O to go into the motion bar. And you have to look for this little net right here that is saying collect supplement. And this you have to drag onto your taskbar. And then once the catcher is dead, I can show you because then you will need to switch to the ultra collector and get rid of your weapon and if you want to have this faster you can also put this on the taskbar so you don't have to double click anything in your inventory this means now it is dead you will switch to the ultra collector as you can see right here and now we are pressing the collect supplement button and you will see right here we are basically vacuum the shit out of this guy. And in our inventory, we see how the um, errands at the moment are increasing. And since we are using the ultra collector for this mob, we will get 100 extra. Also the collecting progress also takes quite a long time 
So again, I do not advise doing any collecting without an ultra collector at all. Yeah, that's about it for now. Receive life, cause they added upgrade and uh, they added power ups that basically give you new increased elemental damage if you have elemental damage on your weapon and increased elemental defense if you have element on your suit. Important to know or uh, if you're talking about element upgrade is that you do not, do not need the same materials for every element. Every element you're using needs a different material. We just showcased here the earth one for those mats and every element has different ones. What is important is um, you can go to plus three again for for no protect use and afterwards you will need to use protect to stay safe and don't lose your item. So we said for different um, elements you need different kind of catchers and I showcased you right here for which element you will need to farm which catchers as you can see right here those are the mats for them and I also showcased which element is strong against which one. So for example if you are having fire on your weapon and you're fighting versus a wind monster, you will deal increased damage. If you have wind on your weapon and you're fighting versus a fire monster, you will deal less damage. And the same goes for the defense on your suit. If you, for example, are having fire on your suit and you're getting attacked by a wind monster, means you will receive less damage. If you're getting attacked by a water monster, you will receive more damage. This is important to know, especially if you're an AOE. And one little trick I can advise you is, since getting to a plus three upgrade on element is for free, you can already use this to your advantage. So you don't need sprouts, it is fairly cheap. So you can adjust your weapon and your suit to fit the element of the monster that you're fighting. Because once you are having like a plus 10 element and you want to change your element to fit the monster, you will need a cash shop item that is really fairly expensive and it is called scroll of element change. Now let's take a look about the normal upgrading. Here you will also need mats, but those are always the same. So they, they are errands and uh, minerals. They do not switch up. And the normal upgrading that is showcased right here is used for sets and for weapons. Important to note is that for upgrading from plus one to plus five, you will need the power dice four, as you can see right here, and upgrading from plus six to plus 10, you will need the power dice sixes. As you can see right here, with, if we're using a power dice four, we only have a 90% success rate, but if we are using a power dice 12, we can increase the success rate right here. And it is, like probably not the easiest for everyone to calculate exactly when to use a power dice four or six or when it is worth to use a power dice 12. And I will either um, release an app soon or if the app is not developed fast enough, I will release a spreadsheet where you can enter the prices of your server for like power dices, the prices for scrolls on your server, the prices um, for the mats and then the, the um, app or the spreadsheet will calculate exactly how much, what your initial costs will be and it will tell you if you should go with a power dice 4 or 6 or with a power dice 12 upgrade. So it is easier, easier for you guys. Now let's take a look why we are actually upgrading things. So if we are upgrading a set for example, we can get this set up to plus 10. Once we reach the plus 3 upgrade, we are getting the first bonus effect. And it is important to note that um, early on, if you are a melee class, the accuracy, basically the hit rate right here, is a really important stat. And this is why you should try to rush a set up to plus six as fast as you can, just to get those hit rates if you are a melee class. If you are a mage, for example, this is not that important. But for melee classes, having a plus six set early on is really good. Overall, um, if you are going for a plus eight set, the costs are still mediocre and um, you can even do this free to play without any, without a lot of effort. It is doable since the upgrade chances are quite good right there. As you noticed, um, once you're having a plus 10, like the final upgrade, 
you see a huge gap from plus 9 to plus 10 basically right here especially the hp bonus it is doubled so if you want to hit the end game make sure to get a plus 10 set but only like since it is really really expensive Try to choose wisely which set you actually want to make to plus 10 and don't try to upgrade too many different sets to too many high levels and then try to sell it because you will always sell with a loss here. So make sure to choose the correct set um, that you want to go over all the way to plus 10. Now let's take a look at the last part. This is the actual increases when you are plusing something. On um, the sets, don't all, all only have the set effects they also have um, a defense stat on their parts and those are getting increased as well if you're plusing them and you can see right here it is almost times 10 so basically you're having a two percent in the early game and if you're having a plus 10 you're already at 20 percent increased defense for this part and for a shield this is exactly the same as for a set part the only difference is if we are looking at weapons so weapons get more of their the base attack value they have gets increased by this amount of percentage right here. So we're having like the base attack increased by, let's say, 10% if we're having a plus five weapon. This is already a pretty decent increase. And similar to the set, if you are going for a, um, for a level item, for example, do not try to go higher than plus eight. Plus eight is still reasonably cheap. And the difference from like 19% to 24% is only 5%. So basically 20% overall increase right here. And this is not worth the cash unless it is really your end game item. So stay at a plus eight right here. Yeah, so we are already at the end of the video. If you liked it and I earned your subscription by then, don't forget to comment below the video. And we are also doing a lot of streams on Twitch right now and i would be happy to see you there as well the link is in the description below cheers